A lot of you may not know, but Canva has a presentation mode and slides that you can build to make a presentation, kind of like PowerPoint, but I like it better because you've got all these design things right there at your fingertips so that you can put it on there. Now I have five features that have been added to the presentation slides that you may not know about. So if you're already using it, then these are, you definitely want to watch. These are new. If you haven't used it yet, watch it and you'll kind of get a feel for what presentation is. We're going to go on over to uh, Canva right now. Let's go. And I want you to go ahead and hit this presentation mode up here in the design. I always use the 16 um, to, to 9 ratio. And what I did in the first slide here is so what I did here is I just added a text box. I went over here to the left and I just added text and this is what popped up, okay? I'm gonna show you one of the new features for the presentation mode. Now, typically, if you have created a lot of slides, you might have noticed that, hey, I spelled a word wrong and now I have to go all the way through and find everyone. Well, you don't. If you hit Control F, this little box over here to the right will pop up and you can type in the word text and replace it with, um, I'm gonna say new, um, just because I didn't spell it wrong. Let's just replace it with test. <laughs> there you go. And now it has changed the word. Now I did spell it wrong. So now I'm gonna go in and change test to text. There you go. What if you wanna go in and only change one letter? Let's say, notice here I have my upper lowercase T, right? I'm going to put lowercase and I want to create a uppercase like that. And there it goes. It'll change it. And look at that. It's asking me which one. So it'll do one or all. Now, if I want to change all of them, I can hit replace all. But I only wanted to change the one at the beginning of the word. So that is a find and replace feature. Very handy, especially if you have lots of slides. Now, while we're talking about lots of slides, this feature that is new with Canva is really awesome because if you use this feature a lot, you may find that you need a, a, a huge stack of slides and Canva used to only have the li a limit of 150 slides. Well, they just upped it to 200. So if you do make huge presentations and you were always making two small ones and putting them together. You don't have to anymore. You can go all the way up to 200 slides. Once you hit your limit, Canva will let you know. But that's a nice feature as well. Now within this second feature, it, they have also increased how many photos that you can add to the presentation. And this feature has added 600 and now you can add 800. So you've 200 more photos that you can put throughout your presentation. Now I know this seems like a lot, but if, if you're somebody that uses this a lot, these are fantastic features. If you're just learning about it, you're like, well, I don't even think I can come up with 800. That's fine, but it's good to know because like anything else, if it's new, once you keep using it, you're gonna find that you're gonna want more and more and more. They've also increased how many videos you can add to the presentation. Um, 75 video clips was the old, amount and now you can add as many as 150. So get busy, make some big presentations and you won't be limited in what you can do. New feature number three, go to your text box. You're in your, you're in your uh, text box right here on the presentation. Go over here to animate and there are two new animations that have been added. Now this is new in my account and as you can see right here, this is called the merge. What it does, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my text box, and I have two of them right here. Now watch what happens when I select merge. One of the text words is moving in from the left, and the other one's coming in from the right, and they're merging together. It's pretty cool. Now with this merge, you can hit both. That can happen at once. You can say on enter, watch that, or you can say on exit, okay? So you can decide, and you can also decide on the intensity. Let's move that over. So that's more intense, see that? And if I bring it down here, it's more subtle. And I'll put it on both, okay? So you can play around with that. The second feature is, we're gonna go back in to effects. The other one's called the wipe. And if you go up here at the top, mine is under the basics down here, and it's called wipe, and it just kind of goes across like that. See that? I can do it on enter, same thing, on exit, and I can, and I can also make it more intense. So go in there in your animations and, oh, this also will, you can go up and down or back and forth. If you ever, um, when you're in here, 
just looking at all your animations, always look for the little red dot that's near these and you can find out which ones are new. Um, we have one more feature I want to show you in presentation mode, which is extremely helpful. For those of you that actually use Canva and you go out and present your presentations, this, this new feature will allow you to click through your slides using your phone. You know how sometimes you get up on the stage, they hand you a clicker and, you know, it doesn't always, you know, isn't really smooth sometimes. Well, this way you have full control. You can get the presentation and your phone to click together and then you can click through your presentation. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. The first thing I want you to do is open up your presentation and go up to here where it says present. And right now it's in standard mode. I want you to put it in presenter view. So you're going to click that and select present. Now you'll see that this window pops up. It says the audience window. I want you to X that out and do not go to full screen mode, okay? You're gonna take that and make it smaller and put it down into the corner. So go ahead and get out of that. You can see this little um, downsize thing right there, okay? So you're gonna get that out of the way. Okay, now you are in presenter mode. You can see your, present, your presentation here. And I want you to go up here where there are three little dots. When you hit the three dots, you'll see here it says share remote control. And that is how you're going to follow, um, follow the instructions and share it with your phone. You're going to copy the link and then you're going to put the link on your phone. And then you will be able to just hit the arrows back and forth using your phone. It's going to come up on a screen and you just hit it going back and forth. So there you go. In my opinion, the best feature, especially if you're doing presentations for large groups. You can also add some notes over here to the side, um, which is really a nice feature as well. Tell me what you liked best in the in the uh, comments below. Which feature do you think you'll use the most here in Canva or in the presentations? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give me a comment below, thumbs up, and I appreciate your support, and you have a blessed day.